Our second video is based on the zeros of a polynomial. What is meant by zero of a polynomial? Children, do you remember another word for zero? Zero means solution of a polynomial or we call it as a root of the polynomial. What is meant by root of a polynomial? What is meant by zero of a polynomial? A real number k is said to be the zero of the polynomial p of x if and only if p of k equals zero. A real number k is said to be the zero or the solution or the root of the polynomial p of x if and only if p of k is equal to zero. How to find the zero? There are two steps. We have to equate the p of x as zero, p of x equals zero equate it and the second step is solve it. So, shall we do some example problems? Okay. So, write down the first question children. Find the 0 of p of x is equal to 3x minus 2. So, what was our first step? Let p of x equals 0. Now, what was our p of x? 3x minus 2 equals 0. Solve it. 3x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 by 3. So, our first question's answer is x is equal to 2 by 3 or we can say the 0 of the polynomial 3x minus 2 is equal to 2 by 3. Second question. Find the 0 of polynomial p of y is equal to y square minus 2. Let p of y equals 0. That means y square minus 2 is equal to 0. So, what will be y square 2? y will be plus or minus root 2. Since it is a quadratic equation or quadratic polynomial, what is a quadratic polynomial? Highest degree 2. We will be having two solutions plus root 2 minus root 2. Isn't it simple? We have to equate the polynomial to 0, solve it and get the answer. One more question children. Find the 0 of x square minus 7x plus 10. Here we are not given any name for the polynomial. So, if you want you can give. Let f of x equals. Why did we write f of x? Because it is a variable in x. x square minus 7x plus 10. Then what should we do? We have to equate f of x to 0. x square minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. In smaller classes you have learned to factorize x square minus 7x plus 10. How do you factorize? By splitting the middle term method. Do you remember that? Here what is the constant term? 10. Which all numbers multiply gives you 10? 1 into 10, 2 into 5. Now from those two pair, find out one pair whose sum gives you negative 7 and product gives you 10. So, it will be x square minus 2x minus 5x plus 10 equals 0. Negative 7, negative 2, negative 5 will give you negative 7. Now, I am going to pair it. I am going to take the common term. x minus 2 minus 5 is the common term. equal to 0. Negative 5 into x, negative 5x, negative 5 into negative 2, negative 10. Now, among this which is common, x minus 2 is common. I am taking out 
x minus 5 is equal to 0. So either x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. That means x is equal to 2, x is equal to 5. So what all are the values of x I am getting? 2 and 5 or I can say that the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 7x plus 10 are 2 and 5. Okay? I hope you understood how to find the zeros of a polynomial.